Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. It was a social media post by Graham Hancock last week that led me to create this video on a site that not many people will know about. The Ceruti Mastodon site features heavily in Graham Hancock's new book America Before, a site that came to light in 2017 when researchers announced that broken Mastodon bones were found that date to around 130,700 years ago. The site is located in San Diego County, California, and the broken bones were found together with cobblestones, displaying clear and obvious impact marks. Experts believe that these marks were caused by the intentional breakage of the bones, an act that was done by hominins, likely humans using the cobblestones. It's a suggestion that changes our understanding of ancient North America, as the general consensus is that this part of the world was first inhabited by humans between 13,000 and 16,000 years ago, a claim that is being challenged all the time with new ongoing research. The site was first excavated between 1992 and 1993, and bones include those from a mastodon, direwolf, horse, camel, mammoth and ground sloth, together with five cobbles displaying clear impact marks in the same depositional bed. They are believed to have been used as ancient hammerstones and anvils. The bones are uranium thorium dated to 130,700 years ago, plus or minus 9,400 years. And, after analysing the finds, researchers have claimed that the bones show intentional breakage by hominins. But although the evidence seems clear to many, any discovery that rewrites human history often comes under criticism. Some say the impact marks on the cobbles were from natural causes. Others say the lack of lithic fragments such as stone tools means that this is unlikely to be a site of possible human activity, and also because of the lack of human remains. No human bones have been found at the site, and, according to Michael Waters, a professor of anthropology, the claims of tool and bone processing are not plausible. He said, To demonstrate such early occupation of the Americas requires the presence of unequivocal stone artefacts. There are no unequivocal stone tools associated with the bones. This site is likely just an interesting paleontological locality. Anthropologist Chris Stringer said that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, and yes, maybe he does have a point. But to discount the importance of the site, and the possibility that it displays ancient human activity, is, in my opinion, short-sighted. Others have said that the breakage of the mastodon bones could have been caused by a giant, now extinct monkey. Last year, a paper that was written by Patrick Ferrell states that the damage to the bones was likely caused in modern times as it is or was an active construction site. But, as stated, every new claim that rewrites human history in such a dramatic way will always come under fire and, as vast amounts of evidence are needed for it to be accepted by the wider academic community, the lack of support shouldn't be a surprise. But Tom Demir, a paleontologist at the San Diego Natural History Museum, believes that the Ceruti Mastodon site does present the necessary evidence. There are skeletal remains of animals, bone flakes and large stones, and he and his fellow researchers believe that what we are looking at is a bone quarry, maybe a place to extract marrow or to mine skeletons for raw materials. And no, human remains are not found because this wasn't a burial ground. There was a clear concentration of bone flakes around the large stones, and the mastodon remains were in a strange arrangement. For example, one of the tusks was arranged vertically in the dirt. The wear on the rocks match what you would expect from stone tools, specifically to smash up bones. The site was also entombed in siltstone, a fine-grained sedimentary rock that forms from slow-moving, low-energy water, but the large stone tools are far heavier than the surrounding particles. One is around 30 pounds in weight and could not be moved by slow moving water. So if water didn't move the handful of rocks to the site, what did? They must have been artificially deposited and maybe by humans. And yet there is more evidence. The fractures on the bones suggest they were broken whilst fresh and researchers say they could not have been smashed up by natural processes. And no. They couldn't have been trampled on by large animals because many of the fragile bones, such as ribs, are less shattered compared to the more solid limb bones. 
The team also provided experimental evidence to back up their claims, showing how hammerstones and anvils can make similar patterns in fresh elephant bones. But were the bones broken by humans? Or could it have been caused by giant ancient monkeys? Well, the archaeological record in North America does lack non-human marrow-eating primates, so even this counterclaim has a number of problems. Oxford archaeologist Michael Haslam thinks that the evidence presented is enough to at least consider humans as the starting hypothesis for this site. There is more to read in Graham's book America Before, and there are many papers you can read online, but this site is one that should be at the forefront of our minds when researching the origins of ancient America. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.